Hey guys, today's video is a quick and short tutorial on how to make super high resolution photos with any camera of your choice. Now recently I traveled to Cape Town in South Africa during the Christmas holiday and I carried with me my Sony RX100. This is a tiny compact camera that is very good for traveling because it's lightweight and can literally fit in your pocket. During my stay there, I came across a whole lot of beautiful natural landscapes that I was really interested in photographing. However, this was always a challenge with this kind of camera. At just 20 megapixels, it was rather difficult to get enough leeway for cropping and overall, it just felt like the landscapes were cramped into a small amount of megapixels. When I zoomed in slightly, there was very little detail in almost all the shots. I'm a person that believes that huge landscape shots should have as much detail as possible, so I discovered a neat little way of creating very high resolution images. We're talking up to 75 megapixels, or really as much as you want depending on your camera configuration. This is a photo I took of Table Mountain at its base. This photo is 75.5 megapixels, and I took this with my RX100. Just look at how much detail there is when you zoom in. I can get a good look at the cable car, the top of the mountain, and just look at how much detail there is on the rock face. The trick behind doing this is simply just splitting the scene into multiple images. What I mean by that is if you look at the table mountain image, you'll notice that it is very wide. To capture this, I simply split the scene into multiple shots. The whole scene was divided into 8 images, all of which were taken in portrait orientation. Landscape works fine as well, I usually just use portrait because I find that it gives you more vertical real estate. So I took the images one by one by simply rotating my body and maintaining the same settings between each image. If your camera has horizontal leveling, make sure to use it. So there are two methods of doing this, one of which consists of using Adobe Photoshop and the other Adobe Lightroom. Let's jump right into Photoshop. In Photoshop you want to go to File, Automate, then Photo Merge. For now you can keep the layout at Auto and I usually leave all the options down here ticked. Click on Browse and this is where you need to select your individual images that make up your photo. I strongly advise that you take your images in RAW format so you have the most amount of editing freedom after. So click on OK and Photoshop will start to stitch the images together into one whole photo. Give it time because it can take a while depending on your computer, the megapixels of the images and even the amount of images you have. When it's done, you'll notice that Photoshop doesn't really give you much freedom in terms of selecting the layout or stitching method after. So you kind of just have to do trial and error and figure out what works for you. When you've gotten something you like, you can easily crop your image. If you want to make other changes, you can easily do that too. Now I'm going to show you how you can easily do the same process in Adobe Lightroom. You want to import your raw image files, I've already done it over here. Then all you have to do is click and highlight them all using the shift key, then right click, photo merge, panorama. Lightroom will process the images and stitch them together. And unlike Photoshop, Lightroom allows you to preview the different layouts so you can pick the exact look you want. After that, all you have to do is click merge and the image will be processed and created. This is of course still a raw file so you can do a ton of editing because there's a lot of information embedded in the image. If you hover over the image, you can see the dimensions of the photo. It's generally huge. There's a hell of a lot of detail in here. Look at the cable car. And also, take a look at the people hiking up the hill. So there you have it folks. That is how you can create your very own super high resolution photos using Photoshop or Lightroom. I will admit that the process is not perfect. Sometimes the stitching does get pretty weird. For example, take a look at the cabling of the cable car. Notice how it is misaligned in some areas. It's one of those things that you have to really pixel peep to see. However, it is still there. Thanks for watching and I hope that this video has been helpful to you. Please leave a like or a comment and don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well as turn on notifications for more videos like this. Catch you folks in the next one.